All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone, Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak Wadash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly and ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ. Also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere listeners and to all you sincere believers out there. Okay. I use this uh picture here within my uh most recent video thumbnail, but I wanted to uh basically double down on it and emphasize it even even more. Okay, because it's so heavy, all right, concerning the solar eclipse that took pad or uh, took place April 8th of 2024. Okay. And then you see the you see the pathways in the in the one before 2024 was uh it took place in 2017. All right. So these are heavy spiritual signs of what destruction, judgment, death, all right, bloodshed, all right, that the Lord is is ultimately going to bring to the earth all right and it, and more you know and, and truly ultimately babylon the great known as america in the bible okay this is the sign this the lord doesn't do these things in vain okay he doesn't show these signs in vain man all right why you had the reactions of people some didn't care some were excited because it is still a this is it still is a, a heavy sign in the earth you know no doubt about it all right that's not this doesn't happen every day every year or whatnot okay but the thing about it is there was there was there is no fear from the reactions through the different cities that this that this eclipse went through do it went through mexico through texas uh through cleveland all right the reactions it was it was not fear all right it was just like a Ooh, hooray you know <laughs> it wasn't fear man people don't truly acknowledge or un it did, the thing about it is they don't understand all right, what the what is to happen? All right, but that's why the prophets and the men of the Lord are here to bring you understanding upon this eclipse. All right, so this is Amos chapter five, verse eighteen. It reads, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord! To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord. It says the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right, and that solar eclipse that re that represents that that darkness that represents that that judgment. Okay." All right, it's gonna be full of full of uh, sorrow. It's gonna be full of stress. It's gonna full of be full of tears. All right, full of death, full of blood. All right, full of violence. Okay, and this is what the Bible prophesies about. Okay, this day, this day that's coming is not about to be something like, oh my gosh, let's pull out our long chairs and sit and watch the eclipse. No, all right, you're gonna be hiding and running and screaming for cover. All right, especially if you're not protected. By Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and in that name only, the God of the Israelites, the God of you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, wake up, all right, for your salvation is nearer than what me and you believe, man, okay? It's close. This eclipse showed just that, all right? Because this was a sign that Yahweh Shai is coming back. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed, okay? So, yeah, our salvation is nearer than we we believe, all right? This is a sign that the Lord has brought, all right, to, to truly for the for the believers, man, all right? And, if, and a warning to you disbelievers, all right, or you unbelievers, I should say, okay? The, the wickedness that is, that is happening all throughout society, all throughout the world, led by our oppressors, the so-called white man, their true biblical identity being the Edomites, okay? That was a warning to you people as well. Okay? So let me grab Joel. You know, let me grab Joel chapter 2. All right, this is this is just a sign, man. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 30. All right, it goes into the day of the Lord. We're, we're going into that time, all right? It says, And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. <laughs> See, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. And do we not? The Lord, the Lord shows these signs, man. All right. It says what? For for the reason is the explanation is here. 
before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. All right. So why do lunar lunar eclipses happen? Why do solar eclipses happen? All right. Because it's before it's a sign that the, the terrible day of the Lord is near to come to pass. It's near to happen. OK. 2024 solar eclipse and also 2017 solar eclipse and lunar eclipses happen all throughout the years. OK. Before this terrible day of the Lord come. That's the understanding behind these salt, these eclipses. All right. These eclipses. OK. Verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. That whosoever is only referring to the nation of Israel. It's only referring to you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who are truly their true identity being Hebrew Israelites. And we're scattered all over the world. Okay. It says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, that name being Yahweh, and which is, you know, Wa in the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, which means he delivered, he saves. All right. And it's not Jesus. All right. And you won't be able just to say the most high. All right. God. OK. You know, the creator. All right. Those are titles. It says for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. That shows you this is this is specific. All right. Only referring to the Hebrew Israelites, only referring to you, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans shall be deliverance. As the Lord have said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. We're looking to be part of that remnant because it's about to be a. <sighs> The number, the amount of deaths is about to take place in these last days is about to be, is 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 it's about to be unbelievable, man. <laughs> All right, we're looking to be part of that remnant, that select few, that those that remain and endure until the end to be saved. All right, this is what we're hoping in. Okay, so yeah, the sun being turned into darkness, and you see, we seeing it. All right, this is a sign that the day of the Lord is about to happen, the time of the Lord is about to happen, judgment is about to happen, punishments, death. OK, it's not about to be pretty. It's not about to be put on my glasses and watch the movie. No. All right. This is this is serious. You should really be scared. All right. But that's if you have the understanding. OK, because you can know about the eclipse all day, you know, all day. But if you don't understand what's to come to pass, then it, then, it, you know, what, what good is it for you? All right. So let me also grab Acts chapter two, verse 19. It reads, and I will show wonders in heaven and above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and a vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. See, in Joel chapter 2, it mentioned the, the, the terrible day. This is a notable day, terrible day, all in one. Okay? And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. More specific. All right? There goes your Old Testament and your New Testament connection, all right, concerning these eclipses, all right? So there's no way around about who salvation is for, who divine intervention is for. It's for you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You are the Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. The curses fit you of Deuteronomy chapter 28 of identifying who God, who God shows the people are, all right, who he would bless and whom also he would curse, all right, which are you people, man, and we're scattered all over the world, man. OK, hear these words. Take heed. Believe. OK, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs. This this solar eclipse, the, the lunar eclipses that take place throughout throughout the months and the years. These are all signs given to us by the heavenly father through his only begotten son and the angels. OK, these are signs all right, of the notable and terrible day of judgment of Yahweh coming back. The angels coming back. Judgment happening, World War Three and thermonuclear missiles, okay? Violence and chaos erupting, uproars of the people, all in one. These prophecies are to soon come to pass and be fulfilled, okay? It says, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know, okay? And this is these things are also warn. Let me get uh, the book of Matthew 24, all right? The book of Matthew chapter 24, Look at this, man. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. It reads, For men, like it, for then shall be great tribulation, tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor shall ever be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That remnant that we read about in Joel chapter 2, that's referring to the elect. All right, we, we, we hope to be a part of the elect. So we can be what? Saved, all right, from the impending destruction, all right, salvation, okay? 
It says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Hamashiach, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Hamashiach and false prophets, and show great signs and wonders. And who also are false prophets? Those those astronomers, you know, those people, you know, with his telescopes out there, okay? You got the, the, the false teachers and false pastors out there not letting you know the true meaning and the true understanding of these solar eclipses. All right, what's happening? All right, what took place in 2024 and what took place in 2017? All right, not warning you of what's to really happen in these last days soon, okay? It says, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. That means it's not possible. Who's the elect? And that's the thing about it. The elect are predestined to believe and understand what is to take place in these last days. Understand the prophecies, such as the solar eclipse. Understand the signs and the wonders given, given to us by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It's no deceiving the elect. If you're a part of the elect, you're going to understand it. You're going to believe it. All right? You're going, you're going to get it. You know, you, you're going to hold fast unto it all the way to salvation, man. Then we're going to rule in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? We're going to rule with our power on the earth, literally. Okay? After destruction has happened, every, you know, after, you know, the necessary time, you know, uh, you know, comes to pass. Okay? So, let me get John... Let me also get John chapter 4, all right? So this is John chapter 4. John chapter 4. I'm going to get straight to the point with this. Uh, Just one verse, all right? And this is the time he was doing uh, Yahweh Shabbos, you know, performing his miracles. Hey, but, you know, hey, the, like the peoples of this world see it. They see that. They seen that as a miracle. People was taking flights. People were flying from state to state to see this eclipse for 5 to 10 minutes, 20 minutes or an hour, Okay? They would, you know, this, this is, you know, this was a, they were, they were dismayed by the signs. They were shocked. They can't believe it. Okay. This is John chapter four, verse 48. It reads, then said Yahweh shy unto him, except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. Hey, so the Lord is putting forth those signs to our people, to the Israelites. All right. Truly for you to repent, turn back from your wicked ways. All right. And seek the Lord, your power. Uh, follow the laws, that you commandments of the scriptures, okay, and, and, and keep the faith in it with works in order to be saved in these last days. All right, these are signs for us. These, these, they, they actually was comforting and at the same time fearful. It's, it was about the Lord is balanced. It's like, damn, you know, have you examined yourself? Like, all right, Lord willing, I make it. Am I right? You know, we throwing up, you throw, we throwing up the anointing prayers, we throwing up the curses, okay. Yes, we throwing up the curses, man. Shalak Rayim send evils, okay? Ayashim, punishments, Ibadium, uh, destruction, okay? Mashapatium, judgments, Haragium, deaths, I'll call all into, uh, you know, uh, Adawanium, all right, the Edomites, Wagawanium, the, the nations, okay? Ayabunawa, our enemies, all right? And Iwababal, okay? Being America, Babylon the Great, man, okay? Yes, we've seen these curses because, hey, the, the Lord is going to destroy this place. This is the, That's part of the Lord's will, all right? So, yes, we want these things to happen. Yes, they're part of the Lord's will. Yes, they're in the Bible, okay? It's, it's scripturally proven, okay? And we can back, just 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 watch the videos. <laughs> Literally, just watch our videos, man, okay? We prophesy upon these things week in and week out, day to day, okay? So, just wanted to double down on this eclipse. And this, especially this image here, man. Especially this image here, 2024A, it crosses out America, okay? Crosses out North America, all right? Because it's going, because North America would never be inhabited ever again, according to the Bible. After this destruction of World War Three and by via thermonuclear missiles, actually uh, comes to pass, actually takes place, actually happened, okay? Which is also a, a another realistic prophecy to happen in these last days. Look at Russia, look at Iran, look at China, look at North Korea. These nations are ready to shoot missiles at North America. All right. Look at the BRICS nations, man. These people are, these nations are ready and their leaders are ready. The technology is ready. The weapons are ready. All right. The minds of the people are ready. All right. And the Lord is doing all this, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that is. Okay. So that'll truly cover it. Lord willing, this lesson was, you know, um, clear, straight to the point concerning the solar eclipse of 2024 and also 2017. All right. And their paths of totality. <laughs> okay. 
and the scriptures back up the point that what's to come to pass very what what this truly signifies all right is is death and destruction all right judgment from the lord okay and also deliverance for the elect all right so with that i want to end up by giving all the glory infinite praises unto yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem rakak wadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone repent yahweh shai is coming back repent yahweh shai is coming back all right shalom keep the faith shalom